Sure. Can you give me an example of a simple machine that has descended from the lever? Well, you're holding one in your hand right now. Yet another machine that doesn't look like a machine. I know. But have you ever tried to open a door without a doorknob? You haven't got enough leverage, have you? That's where the doorknob comes in. It's a direct descendant of the lever. Like this. Or this. Or this. They're all children of the lever. How come? Well, a long time ago, some very wise men were looking at a lever one day, when they suddenly thought how nice it would be if the extra force the lever gives you to move something from here to here, say, four times the force, because one lever arm is four times the length of the other, they wondered if this extra force could be extended through 360 degrees. In other words, they wondered if they could make a circular lever, a lever that would go all the way round. And while they were at it, they made up a new name, an axle. With its center where the point of the fulcrum used to be, and the short arm of the lever now running from this center to the outside of the axle, and the long arm running from the center of the axle in the opposite direction. Now when you push the lever with a force, say, of 100 newtons, you can turn the whole axle around with a force of 400 newtons. And that's how you're able to open doors and steer cars and ships and pull up anchors with such ease. Thanks to the ancient wise men and their circular lever. Yes, congratulations. You've just reinvented the wheel.